Hello. Today before us, we have a para summary. The para summary asks you to find a sentence from a set of given alternatives, from a collection of sentences, a sentence that captures the essence of the paragraph. So we need to find that sentence that summarizes the key idea, the essential, the abstract of the paragraph, the, the main conveyance here. So let us try to find it with this. We have eight, uh, uh, eight options. And the purpose of this uh, passage is to show you more to show you how to uh, know how to discern the wrong, why something is not a summary rather than more than finding the which one is the exact summary. So this one is more about elimination than ascertainment. So we'll certainly ascertain which is the right summary and why is it so in its own right. But more importantly, our focus will be to enlist all kinds of wrong summaries and deficiencies in various kinds of sentences, various deficiencies that disqualify them from being a summary. So let's begin. So let's read the passage since it's a, it's a very short one. Replay value is an old phrase from 1990s video game criticism that has stuck with us. It is a simple concept. It's the beckoning call to return to a game after completing it. Something about it, how fun it is, or how engaging the story was. Keep us coming, keeps us coming back. Returning to a game is a harder proposition altogether than books and film. It means we have to work through the story again, rather than merely sit back and be entertained. To achieve replay, uh, to achieve replay value, a game must feel exciting and rewarding. So, what essentially the passage is talking about, what I can feel, uh, the sentiment here is that it is describing something uh, about those old games, those uh, cassettes, and those. ROMs and uh, CDs that we have uh, stashed and we like to revisit. So, uh, you know, once you finish a game, that sense of open-endedness, that curiosity, that adventure, that sense of quest and unpredictability, that goes away, right? You gain uh, an in-game omniscience, you know everything there. So it becomes boring for you. It's a, it's a morbid boredom there. But if a game is so good that it can keep you hooked, it can make you want to go back and again, back and again, so there must be some sort of reward, like the sense of adventure or curiosity that's now over. So there should be some excitement or some reward, like setting a new record or something like that. So that's what I had in mind from this passage. So that's the uh, thing being talked about. Now, uh, the mistake most people make is summaries. Most summaries will often, not all, but most summaries will have feature correct statements. And uh, most of the most will uh, be there in the passage. The contents will be there in the passage. But... They will not, uh, they will suffer from some kind of flaw that disqualifies them from being a summary. So let us try to identify, identify those precisely. So the first one says, replay value makes a game worth it. Option A, replay value makes a game worth it. Certainly, that is what the, uh, that is one thing that is, uh, you know, the uh, base of the passage. But is it a summary? So uh, the passage relies on that idea. But does the passage, uh, is, is the passage directed at that idea? So let us explore. Replay value makes a game worth it. So the first sentence talks about uh, replay value. It defines that replay value is a term, no opinion here, uh, non-opinionated. It's a simple concept. It, it describes it again, a neutral sentence, something about it, how fun it is or how engaging the story was keeps us coming back. This uh, talks, this uh, says that a game must be something in order to be replayable. But this doesn't say that what a game being replayable makes the game worth it, right? Pause effect. So that is not there. So it doesn't say that, uh, you know, replay value is the cause of a game being worth it. It rather says that uh, something being fun is the cause of the game being replay value. So you see, uh, replay value in the option is the cause, but here replay value is the effect of a game being fun. So returning to a, a consequence of that. So returning to a game is a harder proposition altogether than books and films. Again, this uh, doesn't say that uh, replay value makes, uh, it says, that replay value is harder to achieve. Again, no mention of A. It means that we have to work again. So to achieve replay value, a game must feel, so it uh, it talks about what, how can a game qualify for being replayable? And it never says that replayability makes a game worth it. So replayability is not a cause anywhere. So this one violates that uh, causality. So although it might be true, it might agree with the passage. Uh, this is not correct. This is not the summary. One of the main factors that contribute to the value for money of a game is its replayability. You don't need to read the entire thing. Value for money. This term is missing there, right? And it is neither literally stated nor is no, uh, is no way implied. This is a too big a term to be missed there, right? One of the main factors that contribute. So this is not correct. Directly eliminated. 
idea not there in the passage so these are various kinds of uh, uh, you know uh, wrong summaries so you should better know each wrong summary as a personal acquaintance so you can just you know identify them and avoid them like uh, that is the kind of thing that you do these are like the people you want to avoid so you label certain people with certain traits as people who are avoidable so that the same way goes with summaries you must identify those personality types and know that this is not my personality type so i'll avoid it game makers must work hard to make a game replayable so yeah this statement might be true but game makers again something not invoked in the passage the subject of the sentence and the the subject of the sentence is uh, missing there is nothing about game makers although the passage does say that game games need to be good right so you can say that yeah obviously a game will be made by a game maker but the principal subject of the sentence doesn't find a mention here right so and again as i said as i said uh, this is not the key idea right the, although the key idea is concerned with what somewhat concerned with what uh, you know uh, makes a game replayable but game makers working hard this is too general and too vague right and uh, uh, so for two reasons this cannot be our summary a uh, summary needs to be adequately specific not too specific not too general replay value is an old concept yes mentioned in the passage yes mentioned only in the first line yes out of uh, these multiple sentences how many of them are there so uh, are there four and there are six sentences out of the out of those six sentences only the first sentence that to the introductory sentence says that replay value is an old concept and uh, that sentence says much more it gives a timeline it says that it has stuck with us now uh, this is just very short very short and very side uh, very sidelined and moreover is just the first sentence only the first sentence cannot be at all the summary lob sided too lob sided too terminal to be the summary summary will always be located towards the center sometimes the introduction if the introductory sentence is long uh, like maybe uh, two lines long then it can uh, rare occasions it can contain the summary but this is definitely no this is just a time stamp nothing uh replaying games this is uh, if the passage had been about why replayability is an old concept say when this could have been the summary if the passage was about some researcher or some journalist saying arguing that replayability is thought to be a new concept but it is an old concept and talking about investigating how old it is then it would have been the summary here that is not the purpose here we are investigating how, what uh, makes a game replayable so definitely not correct replaying games is often boring outright negation so this is see replaying games is often boring so while uh, you might some might say that it is true some might say that it is false since it says that uh, replaying uh, making replayable games is hard so you, some of you can assume that okay if replaying uh, making replayable games is hard most games are not replayable maybe uh, again so this is also something that is irrelevant this is completely irrelevant like no no relation to the passage the passage is about what makes a game replayable right so what makes a game we need to identify the causes that make the game replayable right so replaying game is often boring this is meta this is talking about replaying games we don't need to talk directly about replaying games we need to find the criteria for replaying games right so the, because replaying games is already introduced here and then we have gone to the track where we are finding criteria the prerequisites for a game being re replayable so this is irrelevant so eliminated replaying value makes games fun now this is the critical classic case of reversion causality reversion now this is one of the most common fallacies not just in cat not just in exams uh, in entire humanity correlation causation fallacy so people often find a correlation and they automatically assume that a causes b they don't think that whether b causes a or whether a and b are just related without any causality so they don't think of that so uh replay value makes games fun now we know that uh, many replay many replayable games are fun games right and many fun games are replayable so but the passage uh, wants us to identify what are the causes of a game being replayable what makes a game replayable here replay is itself the cause rather than being the effect rather than being the consequence replay value makes games fun here games being fun is the effect but we have to find sentences where replay value is the effect not the cause so inversion of causality eliminated replay value of a game doesn't involve the incentive to actively participate in it again now if you may, somehow miss this uh, not or rather this doesn't 
then you will uh, you know face this problem this is a negation of the idea so replay value so this is this seems to be the summary of the passage had this no, uh, doesn't not been there replay value of a game involves the incentive to actively participate in it again so that is what these um, central sentences are saying uh, and the central and end sentences both majority of the paragraph is talking about what makes a game uh, replayable so uh, th that says that uh, like other even books and movies you can rewatch you have to just sit back but games must make more effort because uh, games are more difficult to uh, be replayable because they uh, want you to participate game is an active thing rather than movie so unless you get that muster that conjure that uh, compelling uh, impulse uh, that urge and motive to just sit and uh, do the whole thing again yourself investing your effort rather than movies you don't invest your effort you have to just stay awake that's all in games you have to play think do everything hand eye coordination that is the idea so this idea was true but see it's simple uh, it's reverse of the entire idea it's negative of the entire idea it doesn't is there so this spoils the whole sentence so it cannot be true right it's completely wrong games uh, it's just contrary to the idea just because of this doesn't games must be engaging enough to compel the player to replay them so engaging a game being engaging the engagement quality the enrapturing nature of a game is the cause and replaying is the effect what i said we have to identify causes of replay replayability criteria for replayability prerequisites qualifiers for replayability right so uh, these criteria uh, engaging provides a criteria look here replay was the cause here replay is the effect so this was wrong because replay is the cause games being fun is the effect here games being engaging enough is the cause engagement is the cause uh, engaging nature of the games is the cause and replay players replaying is the effect so if a game is engaging the player plays it so uh, this is cause this is effect and we uh, the whole thing talks about the same uh thing uh same idea that if a game is engaging if a game is exciting and rewarding then this cause will lead to effect of being replayable so the paragraph i tries to identify the causes of replayability the attribute the contributors of replayability what makes a game replayable simple so that's it for today thank you and hope to see you again